Okay, it's been forever since I've played Sims, but or at least recorded for it, but I decided to start a new challenge. Lampiva Ruskin. And this is the girl I'm working with for the new challenge. Um, I'm doing the Decades Challenge. I found this one online through a forum, and I think this is the one by, originally by a Zombie Cleo. Um, I was inspired to do a new challenge because I've been watching a lot of Little Simsy lately, and she's doing her Not So Berry Challenge, but I didn't want to do the same thing. So I'm doing the Decades Challenge, and, um... Finding my first sim, my first character, and this is the young lady I picked. Um, I purposely picked traits that I thought would help. Um, the Decades Challenge starts out in the 1890s, so <laughs> I was trying to pick traits that could hopefully help out for someone who was living in the 1890s. This made it kind of challenging. I don't have any custom content or any mods in my game. So I'm just going with whatever packs and kits and stuff that I have and make do. Now I do have Cottage Living, which is helpful. I, there's some clothes that really worked out there. I also have the Vampire's Pack, which was helpful with some of the older clothes. But trying to pick out hairstyles and clothes that are going to work for the 1890s was pretty hard to figure out, I think. Um, I have to admit, a lot for the older decades, I picked out a lot of stuff that was very similar. but. I thought this hairstyle would look pretty cute. Um, I figured people back then probably had their hair up a lot. They didn't really wear their hair down, especially um, older ladies or young adults. At least that's my guess. Um, and I like this dress, but I was kind of trying to see what would be more in the cottage living stuff. Um, that's a vampire's dress. I thought that was pretty cool, but I went with this one. I thought it looked more country because I'm going to start her out in Henford on Bagley. And she's going to have some animals. She's going to be farming. You know, typical country stuff um, out in the farm. So I had to go through and pick out all her outfits. I didn't really figure we'd be doing much with athletics, but um, you're not going to be going out and running. I don't think people did that too much in 1890s, but I figured I'll put some other extra outfits that we could always have her change into so we don't get bored. I'm keeping this on normal lifespan. So it won't go too fast. Short, I figured short lifespan might be a little too quick. But I don't know. Maybe I'll change that later on down the road. I don't know. Um, but as I'm recording this or uh, doing the voiceover for it, I have already been in the world for a while. I've, I'm several ge generations past this young lady. <laughs> and I screw up quite a bit. And I have to admit, sometimes I wish I was on short lifespan. So I could hurry up and get through it, but also being on normal lifespan has allowed me to go back and, well not really go back, but kind of fix things or finish things up a little bit better than I would have with short lifespan. So, <laughs> it's worth a shot. But still picking out clothes. I mean, this was time consuming, but I don't know. I, I really enjoy enjoyed trying to find things that I thought would fit as best I could for the 1890s. Um, and for the list of rules for this, you'd have to go to, I don't have the link anymore because I printed this out a long time ago, but um, I printed this out from the forum. I think there was a link on the forum, and this was from a few years ago, so some of these packs didn't even exist, so some of the rules they used, I changed a little bit, or honestly, I forgot about. And so I did my own thing, but in the 1890s, they are only to marry within their ethnicity. They only have a relationship with the opposite gender. Um, we had outside toilets, so I had to make an outhouse, which you'll see when I make the house. Um, no electricity, so I stuck with a lot of lighting from the vampire's pack, which is like the candelabras and sconces on the wall. Um, also, when you're woohooing, you must always try for a baby because there really wasn't any contraceptives back then or any way to not get pregnant. So that was very interesting. Um, so those are just some of the rules. I'll go over some more rules as we get going here, but it was pretty interesting. So I decided to put her in Hemford on Bagley. Um, cause partly because I had just gotten the Cottage Living pack when I started this. So I wanted to play around with it. But also I thought it would fit since I wanted her to be... Um, a farmer living out in the country raising her own crops and having her own animals so so I got this empty lot and I decided to um, I actually had a cottage that I built a while ago and put on the gallery and I decided just to download that into the lot 
so I just uh, went into my stuff and downloaded it. I made sure I had my move objects on and stuff like that. I gave myself some money because I wanted to make sure she had uh, enough for the house. Uh, I wanted at least, I didn't want her to have to look for money by getting collectibles and stuff like that to have enough money to buy the house or something I already built. Just, I wanted to make my life easier. So that's why I gave her more money. Um, I think I went back and took some of that away when if there was extra left over because I knew I'd have to buy it um, off the gallery and then adjust the furnishings because I had built it not with this you know challenge in mind initially so I have to go in and readjust the furnishings and make it fit my 1890s criteria I had to shift the house back. Um, the lot that this house is on is pretty large um, and I wanted a decent sized backyard because I know I wanted to have um, farmland and cow and some chickens but I didn't want the house so close to the front either so making some adjustments. Putting in my farmland. I had some farmland, but I wanted to add because, like I said, she's getting most of her money from selling her crops and stuff she gets from the chickens and the cow. And then I had to go through the house, get rid of the upholstered furnishings because they did not have upholstery. At least not common. Commonly, they didn't have upholstery. At least for this challenge, they don't have upholstery and no wallpaper. So I had to go and change the walls and put just paint up. I think just some paneling in some places. Uh, get rid of the electric lights. And um, I think some of the rugs too. I might have kept a rug. I don't, I've seen them in. I think I've kept the one kind of um, braided rug that you get in. I forget which pack that is off the top of my head. But here I am trying to figure out my outhouse. Um, trying to make it look a little dingy and a little creepy because honestly it's an outside bathroom. <laughs> and every outhouse I've ever seen, granted they've been old and not in use anymore, but they've been a little scary looking. I did put a tub in with a shower. I probably should have just used this crappy old tub, but I just thought it looked a little too scary. And the tub technically could have been in the house, I guess, because when they just had the tubs inside, they would fill them up and then just drain them manually. But I thought it'd be easier just to have it all together in the outside, the outhouse. At least that's what I did. I don't know. Now this house originally did come with a bathroom. And I kept the bathroom in there, but I took the door away so they couldn't use it. So, because I figured I wasn't sure at this point if I was going to build a new house for every generation or just stay in one house and grow with each generation. So, I figured I'd keep it for now. <laughs> but um, now I'm trying to figure out lighting. I took off the exterior lights, but I figured, you know, to go to the bathroom, there might should be a lantern they could potentially take. Now, granted, the Sims don't pick up the lanterns, but, you know, it's just more of an aesthetic choice to make it look like they could pick up the lantern to, and walk over to the bathroom. And I put a lit, some knitting things in there because I wanted her, her aspiration was actually for knitting. And once again, since cottage living was new for me, I wanted to experiment with knitting. And I figured, you know, 1890s, people knitted. They sewed too, but they don't really have sewing machines in Sims. But wouldn't that be kind of cool? I think that would be fun to have sewing machines and have them make their own clothes besides just knitting sweaters and stuff. But I don't see that coming anytime soon. But here I am putting in my candles so we're not using electricity. And for the lanterns, I needed to make sure there's a table somewhere that I could put the lantern. So, you know, not just setting them on the floor. I'm thankful this house also had a, a fireplace because that'll help for heating. Because I can't use the uh, little thermostat that comes with seasons because they didn't have thermostats. And I think the kitchen looks so dark and creepy. So I took some of the cabinets away and put an extra window to hopefully help with some lighting and not make it look so dark. I figure they don't need quite as many cabinets either because they didn't really have tons of appliances and usually not a ton of dishware or cookware in the 1890s. I got the oldest looking fridge I had and the oldest kind of looking stove that I could find to hopefully have it fit in better with the era.
also trying to find mainly, I know there's some paintings that look the same there, but they mainly, if they had art, it was going to be landscapes probably, or portraits of family members. That's why I picked some of those old portraits and landscapes. And I forgot those portraits came from the uh, Vampire's Pack because later on they freak me out because they actually, the faces on there changed to like, you know, the vampire form. And <laughs> I forgot they did that. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. The one time I was like, oh my goodness. I don't know if I recorded that or not when I freaked out over the pictures, but I guess I'll find out. So I decided I'm going to try and have her plant some large crops, but I, like I said, this is new to me. So I was like, could not remember or did not know how to do it. But I figured besides just doing the large crops from Cottage Living, I'd plant some regular um, plants for, you know, normal starter plants and all that. But I also have to remember I have seasons, so I got to make sure the stuff that grows in the spring grows in the spring and vice versa so and I have not seen foxes or rabbits interact so I'm always I don't know what's gonna go on there with those two and I gotta buy a cow I went with brown cow I think they're really cute <laughs> I think that's adorable yeah there it is so I'll have her come out and meet her cow. See how this goes. I don't know if I want to bother naming the cow because if it dies, then I don't know. I don't want to get attached. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to need to sell the cow or whatever. She just is going to be Gertrude and that's it. I, down the road, I don't name so many, much of them. And I don't, I don't remember if I named the chickens or not. I guess we'll find out, but I don't want to become attached. I'm figuring these animals are there for my needs and for me to earn money. So the fact that I may have to sell them is a good possibility. Oh. How the Sims interact with the cows and the chickens, I think is so cute. Cause you don't see big farms, people going up and really petting the cows and stuff too much. I guess you can't cause there's so many of them, but that is just so cute. Cal's not having it though. She's not in the mood for me to pet her. Maybe because it's raining. And chickens. I'm not sure how to take care of the chickens to start with. Will the fox kill the chickens? Probably. No. Let's see if we can get him to stay away from my chickens. And now Welcome Wagon. I'm not sure how Welcome Wagon's gonna go. Because I'm in my 1890s gear with my lack of electricity and candles, and these guys are probably wondering what's wrong with me. They're coming in to visit. <laughs> but it wouldn't hurt to have some friends. I do not know why this guy's so angry. Don't know if he's angry at me or the lady. But, like I said, wouldn't hurt to have some friends. And I'm eventually going to have to get a husband, so maybe they know some people. Wouldn't hurt to ask. She's kind of cute. I mean, seriously, she's got not got much to do. She doesn't have a computer, she doesn't have a TV, she needs books for entertainment, knitting, cross stitch. So. Her animals. I also figure on top of gardening and her animals, she should be doing some collecting and, you know, fishing. I mean,. I figured that'd be a fairly common thing to do back then, and it wouldn't hurt to get a little extra money until our plants get established. So we need something coming in. I did take some of the money away, so we don't have very much right now. Because I didn't want her being too well off, obviously. I didn't want to cheat too much. Of course, I leave the welcome wagon at home. I know if I send them home early, they get all kinds of pissy with you, and I didn't really want that to be an issue later. So, See, they're just in here at my house helping themselves to their fruitcake, which is fine. A lot of Sims don't like fruitcake anyway, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or just trash it. Yum, yum, oh. Yeah, I don't know what to talk to her about. And I'm already uncomfortable because I'm all wet for being out in the rain and fishing. Nice sunglasses, lady. I guess they're not sunglasses, some sort of visors or goggles. I'm trying out the outhouse. 
<laughs> it's pretty funny. And now they're eating all my food. I mean, I guess it's nice that we're sharing, but it'd be nice to have a stockpile so I don't have to constantly make food all the time. At least the chickens seem like they're fine. Uh, I can collect eggs. I'm not sure what to do with these guys at the moment. They seem fine. The cow's sleeping already. It's kind of early in the day for that. Oh, well, there's the bunny. Will the bunny eat my crops? I don't know. Maybe you have her do something. See, she's happy. She likes the fireplace. But, yeah, I'm going to have to st think about the next episode, trying to get her a husband. Should I find someone in the town? Should I make somebody? I don't know. I think I might have to just see if I have somebody in my gallery already or see if I make somebody because I don't know if anybody who's already in town is going to really suit my 1890s criteria. And if they don't, then I'm going to have to go in and fix them up anyway. I'm probably going to need a lot of help around the farm anyway, so it would be nice to get an extra set of hands in the house. So I need to probably focus on that. In the morning, I'll just have to take care of my chores, my animals, my see if I can figure out the whole large crop planting situation. Try and get my spring plants established. So it should be a busy day. Maybe kind of a boring day, just watching her doing all that stuff, but an important day. This is the first day of establishing her lifestyle, her routine for the rest of the 1890s. Not sure I'll take care of the chickens yet though. Maybe we have some eggs. Oh, wait a minute. He did not seem happy. So I need to do something about that because I can't, I don't know, can chickens run away if they're not happy? Cow looks dirty. So I have to do something about the cow. Yeah, she is not happy. Yep, unhappy and starving. Oh, geez. So I guess I gotta feed the chickens. Yeah, that would be, be an important thing to do, feed the chickens. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you now. They don't have phones. I mean, I guess some people back then had phones, but at my remote farm, I don't have a phone. So let's give the chicken some food. I'm guessing they'll come right over and eat. Calling them over. Okay, well, geez, it doesn't look like he's going to get food. The other one's coming. <laughs> look at him run. That's so funny. Did I have two chickens? I thought I had three. Is there a third chicken? Oh, there. There's some food back there. Okay. Well, I thought I had three. Maybe I only have two. It'll turn up. Get the cow cleaned up. How do you get so dirty in just one day, cow? Seriously. I already have some stuff from fishing that I could probably get rid of. And my milk. I had some milk. Here I'm just kind of picking and choosing. I know I can select multiple things to get rid of, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to get rid of right off the bat. I still got a, ooh, that's my knitting thing. All these fossils, don't really need those. Getting some money, back over a thousand. Hey, decent amount of eggs already. I need to plant some of these things, figure out which ones would be in the spring. Do some carrots. What else is a spring? Nope. Nope. Yeah, that looks like I could do that one. Get her to plant all this stuff. It's take advantage of the sunny day so we're not out in the rain again. Nope. No, I look at that. There we go. We can plant some of this. Come on. So, get all our spring plants started. It's pretty time-consuming getting them planted and watered, but then once that starts, that's not too bad. 
still gotta figure out these large crops. Let's see if the chickens are, oh my gosh, what's wrong with that chicken? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> I was gonna say she was just spinning around like a nut job. All right, let's see what we can do with the chicken. Check on the chicken. Oh. Huh. Socialize. Aw, let's hug our chicken. I don't think that would be very um normal thing to do from people. I think a chicken would not appreciate that. What about the cow? She's fine. Okay, at least she's in a good mood. She was kind of crabby this morning. And chickens have plenty of food to eat. I'm gonna get something to eat. So everybody's happy. Happy, healthy, not dying yet. Haven't killed anything yet. Take our first bath in the outhouse. Oh, that's not really an achievement I was aiming for, but makes sense being an introvert. I mean, geez. Ooh, it's getting cold. Oh, Vlad. Yeah, you leave, buddy. We don't need to deal with you, Vlad. All right, get started on making some breakfast. Uh, yeah, I'll make more than one serving. I want to have a couple things in the fridge so I don't have to constantly cook. Oh, the chickens can come in the house. I wonder if we can, I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it. I was going to say, maybe I can lock the door. Oh, Mr. Rooster. But that's kind of cute they can come in. As long as they don't make a mess, I don't know if they can tear things apart or not. They're cute. Gotta get my breakfast so I can help them get their breakfast. Collect their eggs, get the milk from the cow. Let's see if I can play with this chicken. Oh, he did not like that. Fine, we'll go socialize with another chicken. Oh great, now she's scared of chickens? She, yeah, scared of the chickens. That's not a good thing when that's part of your farm is raising and taking care of chickens. And the cow's dirty again. Clean the shed out. Make sure she's got enough food. Now why is this chicken clucking at me? She's fine. She's fine. I'm already still scared of chickens. And I have no treats to give. Ugh. Why does she keep putting her crap everywhere? I don't have anywhere to take it? Oh, trash can in the house. I'm probably gonna have to figure out. They didn't have trash cans outside, I guess. I don't know how they did trash in the 1890s. I'm gonna have to figure that out on my own. Let's go visit somebody. I'll go to the main area in Hanford and Bagley. Hmm, that'd be fun. Maybe I can meet some people there and you see if there's any husband potential candidates around the area. I'm looking at, yeah, I'm not familiar with this map here, but it's so pretty. Hmm. I can also visit the little stalls and see if there's any more plants I could buy to grow in our garden. Let's see if there's anything we can buy. Looks like we can sell things here too. Haberi! Shirtsa! It doesn't say what season it grows in. I may just have to get some things and just check out later when I can grow them. Ooh, dragon fruit. Let's get a couple things now. I can always come back, I guess. I don't know if their inventory changes often or if it's pretty much the same stuff all the time. Maybe talk to the proprietor of this establishment. Get to know them. Order some food. Maybe grab a drink. Maybe some people come in and talk with me while I'm sitting here. <laughs> Look at her being all proper. <laughs> I think that comes with the um, 
Watanini oh, top. The ski pack. I forget what that's called. The mountain. But, um, yeah, she got her properness from that. Wouldn't it hurt to make another friend, too. I mean, living out in the boonies of Hemford on Bagley. Not too many people stop by. What else is there? No other people walking around? Any potential romantic candidates? Better save. I don't think I saved yet at all. Oh, there's another market stall I can try. Aw, shared sadness. Somebody I was talking to was sad. Don't know why. Aw. She's nice. Mmm. Aubergine seeds. I should probably get some of those. I don't know. Or I could just buy them off my farmer's plot, I guess. I don't think I really need too much from here. This square is so cute. I don't see any potential boys, men I can hang out with. I think I'm gonna just have to either make someone in the cast, or I may have a couple people in the library, my library, that I can pull out. I don't know. That'll be something I'll have to research and look into. But sooner rather than later, because I... I mean, it's been a while since I've done just plain normal lifespan. I've... my other Sims family I do is actually a short lifespan, so it goes much quicker. So this will be longer, but I still probably shouldn't wait too long before I, I get her married and have kids and stuff. She should start, probably start having kids before she's an adult. Not really too many candidates now. I bet you the rain's keeping everybody away. There's somebody. He's just a tune, though. That's not helpful. Aw, he's sad, though. I wonder if he had a family member die. Oh, I haven't checked the neighborhood stories. I think that's a thing now. I can't remember when that started. I don't remember if that was a thing when I first started or not. Oh, she's uncomfortable because she's wet. Next episode, I'm definitely going to have to get a husband for her. I think we're just going to have to make one and kind of force the issue because we don't got a lot of time left. I think, well, we probably do have some time, but I just kind of want to get started on this new family and new generation. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.